Alex, I've seen some of your videos, mate, but what does a performance coach actually do? Oh, they're like a counsellor or something without the qualifications. They just sit there and talk. It's like therapy or something. Nah, mate, it's like that personal trainer kind of thing. You know, reps, sets, diet plans and that. Performance coach, <sighs> sounds like something you made up. Is that kind of like a woo-woo life coach? Whoa, hold up just a second there, guys. Whilst performance coaching takes elements from life coaching, personal training and therapy, it's none of the above. Performance coaching was actually invented by Sir John Whitmore and coaching in general has been popularized by Tony Robbins and the American movement. Performance can be a bit of a vague term. So look, let's start off by me defining how I interpret performance. Performance has three key elements. Number one is health and fitness. Being physically fit gives you a mental edge and gives you more energy so that you can get more stuff done. It improves your ability to handle stress and it reduces cortisol. Number two is personal development. In order to succeed to the very top, you need two things in this space. The first part is to learn more about yourself and your basic underlying psychology. And the other is to acquire new relevant skills, each one doubling your chance of success. Finally, number three is mindset and motivation. To to succeed, you need to be able to tap into vast amounts of motivation and be able to harden your resolve. To do this, we effectively need to reprogram our minds, looking at our beliefs and also our predominant thought patterns, instilling consistency and discipline in the relevant areas as a habitual process. So when we talk about improving your performance, either in the workplace to secure that next promotion or bring more energy, focus and balance into your personal life, we need all three of those areas to be moving in the same direction. Yeah, yeah, but Alex, um, why are you qualified to, to coach people? Well, I could tell you about the seven years I spent personal training or the nine years that I've spent in corporate building myself up to lead teams across Amir and APAC. I could list off all the courses and psychology qualifications, or I could tell you about the challenges I've done, like an Ironman or 100 mile run, but I'm not going to. Instead, listen to what my clients have got to say. I feel like this is one of the best ways out there to do it. I really think so. And it doesn't matter where you are in your life, there's always something to improve, no? So I would say, yeah, go ahead and get it. Alex has helped me massively. So a huge thank you, I suppose. But yeah, it's, um, it worked well. It's done really well. I'm in a much better place now, and it is thanks to him. An immense thank you to him, because, yeah, I, I can't thank him enough. I'm kind of indebted to him that where I am now, I don't think I would have been where I am now without Alex's involvement. It's just been the ticket to get me to where I need to get to. I'm curious, what's your performance goal this year? Let me know in the comments below.